would like to talk a little bit about how to benefit from dreams. Um, because often you've heard the phrase, oh, it was just a dream. And many dreams ultimately turn out to be just a dream. Because their benefits are not really materialized. Um, one of the biggest problems is attunement in the dream. Um, because even if I go into the collective dream space and I meet a friend of mine there and we are on the same level when we start to dream, it's very likely that because of like my emotions or my feelings I will go up or down and the same for this other person. So and we do have a kind of a contact with each other because I'm thinking of them and they're thinking of me so we're both projecting dream images but on slightly different levels. So we're in a way dreaming together but we're in a way also dreaming at cross purposes because my projection of him will not be the same so it will be a blend between my projection and their true energies and the other way around. So ultimately dreams tend to be very confusing, messages become unclear, happenings become unclear because the contact is very hard to maintain in a very clear and precise way. Uh, so dreaming together with the same people or the same spirits um, can help you to really move in sync more. The other thing is to stabilize your dream body because if you have a strong reaction within your dreams you become very hopeful, very afraid, um, very enthusiastic and all the time you're dancing around on, with regard to your energy level and if you become more stable with yourself you can yeah, in a way take good news, bad news, uh, disasters, good events without being moved energetically then you can stay on the same energy level and if the other person also is a skilled dreamer who can stabilize their energy body on a certain level then you can stay together in the dream in the astral and then you can travel and work together in the astral instead of like having to project images of the other and then that image is slightly interacting with the real one and then gets very confused. So stability of the energy body is a very powerful tool to get more benefit out of your dreams so you don't drift into like your own fears and the personal dream space again but stay in a very collective objective space. Um, the other thing which is very important is dreaming together with other people regularly um, because if you are in a way always moving back and forth you're in a way also because of the events in your life your energy body will be higher or lower and you tend to end up in different places in the dream space but if you create like a common meeting place uh, for people so for instance every full moon you meet on this level of the astral then you become attuned to in a way calibrating your energy body like okay this is where I want to go and you get the skill of going to that place again and again and again and once you have a stable point of reference you can say like okay then on every new moon I'm going to go to that place or to that place and once you have a stable point of reference or actually preferably a few stable points of reference you can maneuver your dream body into uh, different realms of the dream so getting to know a certain part of the astral sphere with a certain harmonious level and really making it into your second home is a very important um, practice for you to become a better dreamer and able to manifest yourself on the desired level of the dream. Uh, becoming used to a certain level of the dream usually also means building relationships with beings which exist there most of the time. So this is usually spirits which exist on that level of the astral. Uh, it can also be an egregore if it is already on the higher parts of the astral but most people are already happy when they can leave their personal dream space and go into the collective middle, lower middle 
of the astral plane where you can find very simple spirits um, like some nature spirits, some simpler spirit guides some beings like that and also of course other dreamers once you've established yourself within like your surroundings which can also be your physical surroundings just to dreaming together with the spirits of your house to show you the energy of the place is everything going well am I not creating a, um, a stressful energy in the house so this can be a nice jump off point for your dream and generally the next point where you really want to go is to the place where you can meet with your own guides where you can get communication with them where you can receive guidance from them and your guides can also take you to other places in the dream to let you have the experience you need to move forward in your life it's also important to note that even though the dream body as it is yeah, can be uh, damaged, can be harmed, which will also translate into a disruption of the physical body certain events which happen in dreams are not necessarily negative or even harmful uh, for instance in your dream you may be eaten or the meat may be boiled off your bones and this is not necessarily a harmful thing like for a physical body it would be very harmful but not necessarily for an astral body so the types of fears and things you need to be aware of and cautious of in dreams are very different than the things which you will need to be cautious of in your physical life because ultimately in your dream you don't want to be pulled into the wrong realm into the wrong energy where the wrong patterns can jump onto you so in dreams just like in trance journeys it is very important to avoid places which are in a way very stuck in, uh, in a way not moving not growing uh, detrimental through life through evolution um, so often dark places um, can be problematic there is no light no life force no movement um, places of rotting stagnation like a swamp uh, can be places which are better avoided in dreams um, also um, things which have a very unaltering nature like insects who are completely dominated by their instincts by their habits uh, metal which is also and very much a symbolic thing of something which has been forged into a certain shape and can no longer change so these things, if you meet them in your dream, they can be risky to work with. In the same as in astral travels, they can be risky to work with. Um, sometimes it's necessary to go there to resolve things on that level. But you need to be aware that if you're going on these lower levels, that you should not get infected, not put these things into your energy body. And this is also where the health of the energy body becomes very important. Uh, because during your dream you're very vulnerable. You know, your life force is at a very low level. So everything which impacts on you is not dealt with, is not filtered out. Um, so your dream state is a very receptive state which you're in. And by actually having a stronger life force, even while you're dreaming, you can process the things which are happening in your dream better. But it's very tricky, of course, to fall asleep if your life force is also very active and you feel like doing lots of stuff. Um, now this is another practice you could, should get into, not to sleep because you're exhausted, but actually to sleep because it is time for you to sleep while your energy body is still active, your life force is still flowing, because then the impressions you get will work on you more beneficial if they're positive things and they will be less harmful because you can process the energy instead of just having it stick to you if it's a negative event so a good quality of life force is important um, so some people actually eat something to help them to improve the quality of the energy body before they sleep and what you generally want is you want your energy body to be very harmonious so generally eating something salty 
um, before you go to sleep can also help to improve the integration of the energies you pick up during your dream. Another thing which is a little bit tricky is sleeping together. If you're sleeping alone, in a way your energy body will quite naturally go to where it would naturally be. If however you're sleeping in contact with other people, uh, in the same bed or in the same room, then often the energies mingle and you end up more or less halfway between your natural state and the other person's natural state. Um, so often sleeping with other people can lead to very confused dreams. One of the things you can do is of course to yeah, take a little bit more physical distance so you're not in each other's aura, but generally rooms are a little bit too small to do that, and especially if you're sleeping in one bed, it's not really an option. Um, what does help is in a way moving your own life force through your own meridians a little bit more so you can filter out all the impurities and release them before you go to sleep. So all the energies you've already picked up from the day but also from the other person in your room get as much as possible filtered out and removed from your energy body. Um, the other thing is also the ability either to take the other person along or to be able to separate yourself so you can go to where you need to go in your dream. So it can be very interesting to dream together and to, to share your dream. And sometimes even you can dream for each other. So it might be that like the person I'm sharing the bed with has had certain experiences or certain impressions and I dream about them and I can tell this person like gosh I had this dream and this and this is what I experienced and they can say like ah so this is a message for me so in this case it can be very uh, productive actually to go into each other's dream space especially if the other person is not a capable dreamer you can dream for them in a way and give them the dreams back by relating them um, the ability to take another person with you is a bit more tricky um, because ultimately the strongest energy will tend to prevail. So if your energy is stronger, the other person will gravitate towards you. And, but if the other person is stronger, your energy will tend to gravitate to them. And um, if you want to, in a way, guide the dream, you really have to work together with the other spirit you're dreaming with and to agree on where you want to go. Uh, so it is a lot easier if you have a certain pattern of like going to a certain place collectively and then either moving together or moving separately. So you can build up this habit of your dream body. Uh, the other thing is also developing a strong willpower. If for instance all day you're thinking about something, then also in your dream you will continue looking for the answer to that question or to that issue. And if your own patterns are very strong, they will also pull you out of the collective into the direction you're already going. So a stable will, uh, a very clear purpose for your dreams, especially if you have the same purpose night after night after night for three or more nights, it will create much more productive dreams because this habit will continue and your dream body will continue on the same path as your waking body was on. I hope that these tips will uh, help you to have more productive and interesting dreams.